Good morning. I'm just putzing around the garden today. I thought I'd bring the camera with me. These have been hanging a little over two weeks, I think, now. They look dry, but then I went to go cut some, and I was cutting away to bring them in. And I noticed the stalks are still green here, so I think they're still not dry enough. I'll try again in a couple of days to bring the rest down. And then I got more to hang. I'll show you the garlic that's waiting to be hung. So this was the rest of my garlic bed. I did cut some from here, and of course they're green. They've only been here a week. This does get some sun. So I have my umbrella up to shade it a little bit. It's a little moist. I just love how these are just constantly blooming. The sunburst zucchini is flowering. Nice big flower there. I did put more dirt on top of that because it was flopping around. This chard is doing good. Something's eating it a little bit. But I've been harvesting from that. I've been harvesting the Simpson lettuce. Looks like it's going to bolt. Obviously that bolted. But there's lettuce, new lettuce coming up down there. Romaine. This is the elephant trunk pepper. It hasn't been growing. Maybe just a little bit. These are the Chinese noodle beans. Finally took off. Took a long time for that to take off. But that's up to here. This one's starting to go up. This side is a little slow, slower. This one's up to here. Second rung. <coughs> Who knows? I do have beans growing in the back here too. Just stuck them in the ground one day along here. As they started growing, I had to add the trellis. <laughs> so it's a little makeshift trellis and it's not high enough because it wants to go higher. And I keep wrapping it around these horizontal strings, jute string. This is the herb garden. Herb garden gone wild. I planted some sunflower seeds early July and they're growing pretty fast. And zinnias coming up. Hopefully they'll flower on time. I have chamomile overcrowding some pink celery here. Do you see the pinkness in there? Chamomile doesn't like to be watered and celery is a swamp plant and loves to be watered. But uh, I'll plant it better next year. Now this area used to be my miscellaneous area. I cleaned it up, hit it a bench. 
Got this bench from Hay Needle. I think it was on sale for 60 something dollars. So easy to put together. A nice sturdy bench. Next to it is the cayenne peppers. It's loaded. Do they get bigger or am I supposed to harvest this? I'm gonna check that out. The lemon tree's growing. And these are my three blueberry bushes. This is needs pollination and blooms and uh, actually fruits towards the end of the season, I have heard. That's the top hat blueberry bush. These are two different kinds. Needs pollination. And this one we've been harvesting from already. And this is a type that does not need pollination. And, uh, I've had a good couple of good handfuls. You know, not bad for the first year. But they're all container type blueberry bushes. These container plants, especially the tomatoes, you really got to make sure they don't dry out. I already had two tomatoes that I cut off that had um, blossom and rot. Green. Love the Cosmos. Have to get more of those. Let's see. Little sunflower plant I picked up for three dollars at the grocery store. The salvia I have trimmed back and they're blooming again. Beef steak. There's a decent size one there. I don't know what's happening with this little guy. It's wilting and turning yellow. Is that blight? Should I take this out? This is the uh, Abe Lincolns. Lots of flowers. I don't see any fruit yet. Really looking forward to these tomatoes. Seems like they've been green for a very long time. Is that blossom end rot? Yeah, that's blossom end rot right there. That's off. That's inconsistent watering. Too much water, then too little. Look at these babies. Aren't they beautiful? I picture these are San Marzanos. A little garbage area that I don't want in the compost. So I'm just putzing around today. It's going to be another hot day. Look at these tomatoes with their deep ridges. I really don't know what kind I planted here. There's a bunch in there too. There's a big one on the other side. This one is fairly big. Look at those ridges. Now, mind you, these plants were pretty beat up in a storm that came flying through. Took down a lot of trees in the neighborhood. I have the little Thai eggplants here. I might have to move these out because the barrage and the tomato plants, I think, are putting shade on them and the sun chokes which are very tall now over eight feet still no flowers I 
Now these vines are a nightmare in my garden. They are wrapping around everything. For some reason, I'm letting this go. Over here, I just wanted to see what it would look like on the deck. And then these flowers came out. And I'm like, how could I kill these with the flowers blooming? <laughs> and I think they only bloom during the mornings. Does that make them morning glories? I don't know. But all the heat is paying its toll on some of these. Oops, gotta turn the sprinkler off. These super tunias are getting way too much shade. These super tunias, love it here. And those are the white knights next to them. But look at these super tunias. I have to look up what these were. The blue is just popping. video does not show it. It looks a little washed out, but it is vibrant. Though, it would do better in the sun. Oh, it sounded like some roots were in the ground there. This needs more sun. They'll do better here.